This is Jupiter Today for the 25th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. We'll be moving behind Jupiter there. Europa begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede starts and spends the entire day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends the entire day in quadrant three, heading west. The blue line here is the line of sight to Earth, this way, and the gray line is to the sun. At six hours UTC, Io has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa has just passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east the rest of the day. 12 hours UTC. It was still in quadrant one heading east, but near its eastern elongation. 18 hours UTC. It was now firmly in quadrant two heading west. Europa is still in quadrant four heading east. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, it was going to be transiting Jupiter. Europa is going to be moving behind Jupiter. And there will be four Jupiter satellite events today. First at 1.51 UTC when Io moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 4.29 UTC, Io reappears from behind Jupiter. And towards the end of the day, 23.04, the shadow of Io ingresses, and at 2321, the transit of EO begins. And there are two satellite mutual events today. First takes place at 429 and goes to 447, and that's when Callisto eclipses Europa. This is an 18.3 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.351 magnitudes. And Europa is going to be a nice 187.78 arc seconds from Jupiter. And Callisto and Europa are 23.61 arc seconds apart. And as you can see on the map of the Earth, this point is the location on the Earth where Jupiter will be at the zenith at the time of this event. So this gives a visibility map of who's going to be able to see this. And some of Africa, some of Europe, quite a bit of North America, quite a bit of South America will be able to see this event. And the second mutual event today goes from 717 UTC to 725, and that's when Callisto occults Europa. This is an 8-minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.087. It's a pretty shallow occultation, but it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, 187.04 arc seconds. So, again, good for photometry or some uh, photography. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, looking out. And over the next 24 hours, this is what we would see if we were there. Unfortunately, we're not.
Looks like you is going to a cult Ganymede here. No one will ever actually witness this event. But we can simulate it. Okay, the red spot crosses the meridian three times today. The first at 239, the second at 1235, and the third at 2231 UTC. There were quite a few new images posted because of the exciting transit from yesterday. And I'll just run through these. So this is a nice time series. Just a fantastic set of images here. Look how stretched that shadow is. Okay, and there was no new radio data and no new papers. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 27 minutes, 13.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 59 minutes, 18.2 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 165.351 degrees, and that's 1.5. One four degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is a very small and getting smaller 2.676 degrees. That's 0 0.203 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 653,737,053 kilometers, and that's 598,401 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 24,933.38 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,901.45 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is going to be 797,095,924 kilometers. That's 46,877 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And Jupiter seems to be moving away from the Sun with a velocity of 1,953.21 kilometers per hour. And that's 4.71 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 249.62 degrees, CM2, 1.98 degrees, CM3, 267.12 degrees. The time of this recording is 23.38 UTC on the 24th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Welcome to the new subscribers. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching, listening. Would appreciate and enjoy any comments or suggestions or questions to make this podcast better and better as time goes on. You can also send your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.